Hello everybody, it is your boy, Mr. What If Here, bringing you a quick little story on my YouTube channel. And this is going to be another part of What If Deku Was The Joker, except good guy. So yeah. Recap of last part is when we finally, I finally introduce a special Special, special character that I like as a villain to my heart. And I'm willing him, and I'm willing to share him with you, but just of the flick of the coin. And if you get that reference, the flick of the coin, I'm talking about the main man himself, Two-Face. And I've asked last time, do you guys want me to change his name to something else? But you guys said no, keep it classic. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, a recap of the last part is when Kurashima, well, Kurashima got one for all, and he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Two-Face. And Two-Face has a gun to Kurashima's head. And right before Kurashima could harden his forehead, Two-Face shoots Kurashima, but before the bullet can reach Kurashima's forehead and before Kurashima could harden his forehead, we stop with a little face to face between Deku and Two Face. So we're going to continue off of that part right now. So, two, so Deku, of course, saves Kurashima from getting shot. And. To fit, and then Deku says, "Well, well, well. You're you must be Mr. Ugly." And then Two Face say, "Wow, a lot of a lot of talk from a a clown." <coughs> Sorry about that. And then Two Face will say, "That's a lot of talk coming from a kid dressed up in a clown costume." And then Deku say, Joker's the name. And then, and then this is when J Deku, well, I'm going to say this. Joker throws a punch at Two-Face, and Two-Face barely dodges it. And then say, wow, okay, not bad for a clown. And then, and then, and then, and then Two-Face would say, me and you have not met yet. The name's Two-Face. And then Deku say, like I say, like I said, my name is Joker. And then this is when Two-Face would pop off a few rounds at Joker, but Joker would quickly dodge them. And if you don't know what I mean by Joker, I'm talking about Deku. So, De so Joker would dodge the bullets, and then Two-Face would say, wow, the clown is pretty fast. And then Deku would say, and then Deku would say, Extra crispy is a little slow. And then Two Face say, hey, You're gonna take that back, you little punk. Nobody talks about my face like that and lives. And then Deku says, Well, nobody calls me a clown and gets away with it, so I guess we're on even ground. And then this is when Two Face would throw the gun and, and flip the coin, saying, Heads, we fight like men. Tails, you stand still and let me shoot you. And then this is when Two Face would flip the coin, and then Deku would quickly pick up a small little pebble and quickly, in a blink of an eye, just quickly just little flick it towards the coin before the coin moving so fast that even Two Face couldn't see see the little pebble. And before the coin goes in Two Face's hands, the pebble hits it. So to the point where even Two Face couldn't even see the coin flip again. And instead of landing on tails like it was going to, it landed on heads. And then Two Face said, "Come on, I really have to get. I really have to get bloody knuckles on. I have to really get bloody." With a little brat. And then Deku would say, well, I guess it's just misfortune. And then Two-Face would say, misfortune, misfortune, 
my ass. Would say misfortune my ass. And then Two Face would say, I knew you picked up that little pebble and flicked it. Because I saw it was about to land on head. About to land on tails. But as soon as it hit my hand, it was on heads. So either one, you did something. Like throw that little pebble. This is when Two Face would show the little pebble that Deku threw in his hand. And then Deku said, you're pretty smart for a guy that only has half a face. And then Two Fist would say, trust me. How the way, how the other half of my face looks. A lot of things gotta get past me. A lot of things can't get past me when my eyes are open this wide. And then Deku would say, alright. Well, like you said, if hands on tail, the lands on heads, we fight like men. And then Two Faith would say, fine, I guess the coin has been decided. And this is when Two Faith would, would just throw his gun, put the coin in his pocket, and say, I'm going to enjoy this. And then Deku would say, not if I enjoy this first. And this is when Deku and Two Faith would start going at it, going blow for blow, hit for hit. And then Deku would say, can't be this. Deku said, I never met anyone that was similar strength matched up to me. Seems like every time I hit you, you take damage, but you dealt damage back. And then Two-Face will quickly explain, well, that's my cork. Due to my burnt side, I'm allowed to absorb energy, while my other side distributes it. So Deku would say, well, that's kind of that's like my power, like my cork. I'm able to absorb power and use it for my own physical, for my raw physical strength. And then Two Face would say, hmm, so I guess we're on even playing field. Let's see who has more stamina. And then this is when Deku gets his little moment of an. And this is when Deku gets a. Oh shit moment. This is when Deku gets an oh shit moment, realizing that. Deku never really had trained stamina because all he ever did was just let people beat him up and he get stronger. And by Deku sensing Two Faces, how Two Faces is, Deku realizes that he's never really went up against somebody that has the ability to absorb his stamina and his power. And use it for their own raw physical strength. He just knows that he was able to do it. But he never fought anybody that can not just take power. But also take his stamina. And Deku knows he has a long supply of stamina. But he realizes like oh shit. I have a long lasting supply of stamina. All he has to do is just drain that for his own. And oh god. He's gonna kick my ass. He's gonna beat me. And then Two Face smiles. My bad about that. And then Two and then Two Face smiles, saying, "So the kid realizes that I'm draining all his all he's got." And this is when Kurashima gets back up and says, "Oh, it says let me get in on the fun." And then he would run over towards. I am sorry about that. And then he would run over towards. Two Face trying to deal with a punch, but quickly Two Face would move out the way, and then Kurishima say that this guy is somewhat fast like Deku. This is when Two Face delivers a roundhouse kick, kicking Kurishima directly into the rib, to the rib cage, actually, actually breaking past the hardening and cracking some of Kurishima's ribs. And then Kurishima tries to boost himself with a little bit of one for all to go in for. A hardening Detroit smash. Super hard Detroit smash. But no luck. But he ends up hitting Deku. Well, Joker, he ends up hitting Joker. And then Deku would say, thanks for the power. And then this is when Deku would punch Two-Face in the gut. Sending him knock back a little bit. And then Two-Face would say, that's all you got. And then Deku would say, no, I'm just getting started. This is when Deku would start to release, but Two-Face would realize that the area is starting to be surrounding this green-like fog, and it's getting thicker and thicker. And yeah, Deku's using this toxic smoke again. So, yeah. And 
then Two Face and Deku gets around it into this, and then Two Face pulls out his gun and reloads it and says, "Where are you, you little, you little clowny punk?" And then this is when Deku would walk from the green smoke, saying, "Right here," and then he would go into this position, and then out of nowhere, a giant clown mask would appear from behind Deku in this position, as you can see right here. And then Two-Face staggers a little bit, actually getting shocked on how immense power this kid is doing. Like, what is this kid doing? And then Deku would say, turn around. And then Two-Face would turn around and see, see Deku again. But instead of a giant clown mask, it's just a whole bunch of people with suits on with clown masks with red eyes and then Two-Face saying wait a minute if you're and then he turns back around and there's nothing there and he turns back around and he just sees Deku and a bunch of people with clown masks is with guns and then Deku would say light him up and this is when before Two-Face could pull the trigger Deku and the people behind him would start popping off shots at Two-Face. And then Two-Face is getting shot up completely. And then by the time the green smoke settles down. Two-Face. By the time the green smoke is settled down. Two-Face is laying on the ground. Completely. Is on the ground. But for some reason he doesn't feel any bullet holes or any any wounds or anything. He checks himself to see if he's bleeding, but there's nothing. Nothing but a little bit of little bit of bruise marks, but other than that, he look he ain't taking no damage. And then this is when two face two face will start to bleed from his nose rapid will start bleeding from his nose rapidly. And say and then this is when two face will get on his knees and hands and say, What did you do to me? And then Deku says, this is another ability of my quirk. I'm allowed to go use the green smoke and go into your mind. And instead of doing physical damage to you, I do it to your mind. That's why you're bleeding rapidly from your nose and you can't control it. And in 3, 2, 1, Two-Face passes out. And Deku says, well, I guess that was a little easy. This is when Deku will turn around to walk over to Kurashima. This is when Deku feel a sharp pain in his chest and get on his knees. And saying, dang it, I really used too much of my cork that time. I, and then, and then this is when, this is when Shigaraki would call out the Nomu and all that. And then everything in canon happens the same in canon. With Eraserhead being taken down by the no, well, I think I said, yeah, everything happens in canon. All my comes and all that, and all the heroes take care of the villains. Shogaraki and the teleporting guy gets away. Nomu is completely beaten, killed, beaten, destroyed, whatever you want to call it. And this is when everybody will start to leave the USJ. And. Deku would ask Kurishima, is he alright? And Kurishima would say, yeah, he's just fine. But he did take a lot of damage, though. And then Deku would say, yeah, but hey, what's your hard name for? And then Kurishima and Deku would start laughing a little bit and just would piss Bakugo off a little bit because Deku's not just strong and he'd be down a high class villain, but he's also making friends. And I'm going to be leaving this part off here. So I hope you guys like, subscribe. Well, I guess I'll be ending it on that note with a level up. So, yeah. Peace.